drawing tool to create a path, you can then use Live Paint or the Live Paint Bucket tool to convert those paths into a Live Paint group so you can paint. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use paint and all the various brush tools as well. Live Paint allows you to fill in open or closed paths by creating Live Paint groups. It's simply a matter of turning paths into these Live Paint groups so you can paint them. What's more, you can trace a raster image and convert it into a Live Paint group to paint. The Live Paint Bucket tool lets you click an area formed by intersecting lines to apply fill, also known as face, and stroke, also known as edge, attributes. Here's how to create Live Paint groups. You can create your own drawing, but for this lesson we're going to use these rectangles. Select both rectangles. Go to Object, Live Paint, Make. Use the Live Paint Bucket tool grouped with the Shape Builder tool. Choose your fill color, then click on the selected object, making sure to paint all sections. If you can't get an object, such as Type, to convert to a Live Paint group using the steps above, then go to Type, Create Outlines then turn the paths into a Live Paint group. If you're using bitmap images, go to Object, Live Trace, Make and Convert to Live Paint. For other objects, you can go to Object Expand. This makes the paths into a Live Paint group. Double-click the Live Paint bucket to set its options. If you want the tool to paint the fill, check the box. If you want it to paint strokes, check the Paint Strokes box. We have ours checked to paint fills. As you saw previously, the Live Paint Bucket filled our shapes. If we would have checked Strokes instead, then this is what it would have looked like. Check the Cursor Swatch Preview if you want to see an instant preview of what the Live Paint will do. Here's what it looks like. Next, select the color that the paths to be painted will be highlighted in. As you can see, ours are in red, which matches the Options box. You can also decide the width of the highlight. Click OK when you're finished setting options. The Live Paint Selection tool is grouped with the Live Paint bucket. The Live Paint Selection tool lets you select sections of a Live Paint group to paint. Click the Live Paint Selection tool, then click in a section of your Live Paint group. With the Brushes panel, you can draw with different brush tips, draw freestyle lines, shapes, patterns, and even textures. In Illustrator, there are five categories of brushes, Calligraphic, Art, Bristle, Scatter, and Pattern. Illustrator comes with brushes that you can use, but of course, you can create your own too. To do this, go to Window, Brushes to open the Brushes panel. Now select a path in your object using a selection tool. To change the Brushes panel view, click the Options button in the Brushes panel and choose which category of brush you want to see. Now click the Brushes Libraries menu button on the panel, point to a brush category, then select a library. The library will be displayed in another panel. Now click a brush in the Library panel to add it to the Brushes panel. We'll select the blue one. As you can see, it's now added to our Brushes panel, and it's also added to our selected path. The Paintbrush tool is located in your toolbox. Go ahead and click on it. Now select None for the fill color. You can do this by clicking the white square with the red line through it, located below the fill and stroke colors. But make sure that you have a stroke color. Next, go to the Brushes panel and select a brush. Now you can freehand draw. Now let's draw a circle. You can use any of the brushes found in the brush libraries. Take the time to play around with the different categories of brushes and all the brushes in the categories. Learn the effects that each brush has and get a feel for the ones that you like. Painting an illustrator can be a lot of fun.
The liquify tools are located in the toolbox. They're all grouped together. The width tool shows by default. With these tools, you can distort a path easily with just a click of your mouse. The liquify tools include warp, twirl, pucker, bloat, scallop, crystallize, and wrinkle. Let's have some fun and learn how to use the liquify tools. Select the liquify tool width. Now click or drag on the path that you want to liquify. The new path will use the stroke color. Click on a selection tool, then click in a blank area to deselect the path. Now let's try the Crystallize tool on our star. The Crystallize tool gives us a circle so we can click or drag over the paths to crystallize them. If we deselect our star now, this is what it looks like. Let's use the Warp tool on our polygon. Click on the Warp tool and then click or drag the circle over the paths that you want to warp. Now our polygon looks like this. To see what the Twirl tool does, let's use it on our spiral. Click on the Twirl tool, and just like with the Warp tool, click or drag the circle over the paths. When we're finished, it looks like this. Let's use the Pucker tool on our new drawing. Click on the Pucker tool and you can click or click and drag the circle over the paths. Here's what it looks like. Use the Bloat tool in the same manner. Click the Bloat tool then drag over your paths. Click the Scallop tool, then click or drag it over the paths that you want to scallop. Click the Wrinkle tool, then click or drag over paths. 